Grayson Sievers signing and the Foreign Exchange student program. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. I'm Jake. And I'm Savannah. And here's your daily news. We have a story on the exchange students. Let's go watch to find out more. Seaman High School has a great foreign exchange student program. We caught up with a few students in Miss Martinez to learn more about their time here. I think in general, Seaman is so much bigger than my school. And you have like everything. You have gyms and like library and you have so much and we don't have any of that in my school in Germany. I'm going to miss IHOP. <laughs> You're going to miss IHOP. I just love American pancakes and I love IHOP. And just like American people are so much more relaxed and open-minded. That's what I'm really going to miss. Um, yeah, definitely the school and like my friends that I made here. Because like this school is not the same at all. So that's something that I'm not going to experience again. So that's what I'm going to most like missing here. I think everybody should make an exchange program like in another country. It's really nice. Uh, I like uh, my host family and all the stuff with it, like traveling and stuff. And I like a lot of the school, how it's different from my country. But my host family is uh, traveling with them and going to softball games and uh, stuff like that, like they come to watch my games, my tennis matches and stuff. So hang out with them is like super fun. To know the new group that comes in every single year um, and getting to know their personalities. Um, I love learning about where they're from. Um, that's always cool. I like to, I also like to see the interactions between them and the American students and the types of things they talk about when they compare and contrast you know, how things are in their country versus how things are here. I would just encourage students that are here at Seaman um, to come and meet the foreign exchange students. Um, I think a lot of people don't realize they're all in my seminar, and so I'm in W20. And if you ever want to come meet the foreign exchange students, we get a new group every year, and um, they're always really excited to meet new people and, you know, share what they know and ask questions. and. Um, those interactions can last forever. Make sure to drop in the W20 and visit. Wow, that was pretty cool. Now on to your daily news. To speak at the graduation ceremony, check your Class of 2019 Schoology page for the sign-up link. You will also need to submit your speech to Mrs. Welsh by April 15th. Students interested in driver's education can enroll online on the high school webpage. Please contact Matt Tinsley with any questions. Today is the application deadline to apply for the Sunrise Optimist Scholarship. For applications, they should be returned to Mrs. Ross in the counseling office. OFG Financial Services is offering a $500 scholarship for seniors. Application deadline is April 19th. The Drive Out Hunger Car Show will be held in the south parking lot of the high school on Saturday, April 27th from 1 to 3 p.m. Please see Mr. Collins or Mrs. Miller for a registration form. Keisha is offering a job opportunity for high school students. Students must be 16 years of age to apply. Check Schoology for more information. If you plan on attending prom and afterglow, make sure to have your student ID. It will be needed to enter the doors. If you need a new ID, go to the library for more help. Emory wants to find out more about the Writing Center. Let's go find out more about it. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Ms. Sands and she's going to talk to us about the Writing Center applications. So what type of applicant are you looking for? Well, we're just looking for people who are interested in either um, helping people just work on their projects or their writing. So you don't necessarily have to think that you're good at writing. You just have to have an interest in helping people with writing. So we're looking for really anyone who has an interest in either of those two things. When are the applications due? Applications are due May 1st. So you'll have a form to fill out. It's just basic questions, why you want to be a writing center consultant, if you've gone in before, and if you haven't, why not? And then there's also a question asking if you would be willing to work in the writing center seminar. So you'd get to join my seminar, and you would have your shift during that time, so you don't have to come in outside of school or before school or anything like that. So there is that question to make sure that you're OK with that. And that's usually the time where we get most people. So we're really looking for people that want to do the seminar. 
All right. Thanks, Ms. Sands. If you want to be a consultant for the Writing Center, make sure you go to the Writing Center website and fill out your application. Make sure to turn in your applications. Sophomores and juniors interested in Washburn Tech should plan to attend the open house on Tuesday, April 16th. For more information, check out the flyer on your class Schoology page. Family Service and Guidance Center is offering a safe, confidential, and free smartphone app and website called Seven Cups. It offers a listening ear and strategies to help teens address a wide range of issues. For more information, feel free to download the Seven Cups app. Let's go on over to Savannah with sports after this quick commercial break. If you're planning to enroll in driver's ed this summer, enrollment is this month only and costs $175. You must be at least 14 years old and a Seaman High School student. You do not need your learning permit to join. Classes will start on June 3rd and last three weeks. To register for driver's ed, go to the Seaman webpage and click on driver's ed. Cost is $175. If you have questions, see Mr. Tinsley. See you there, Vikes. Mason and Jason are twin brothers. They are not similar according to others. They obtain jobs at the bank, but who will rank and who will draw a blank? When coming to soft skills, Mason knew just what to do. Unfortunately, Jason had no clue. Working hard every day to stay ahead while Jason would rather lay in bed. Mason arrived to work in a timely manner, but Jason was not a very good planner. In life and work, you will succeed making soft skills something you need. If soft skills are what you want to explore, go to mysoftskills.org to learn more. Auxiliary tryouts are April 27th. Tryout packets can be picked up in the office or in W-12. Tryouts forms should be dropped off in W-12. For more information, contact Mrs. Hurt. Cheerleaders, don't forget to turn in your cookie dough money on Monday to Coach Hurt or Coach Sands. Last Friday, Grayson Seavers signed to Northwest Missouri State. Here's a story to learn more. Last Friday, Grayson Seavers signed to Missouri Northwest for soccer. I'm excited to play at the collegiate level, um, mainly because you know that everyone's going to be really um, dedicated to the sport, and so it'll be easier and it'll be better competition like all the time. Probably the most, most exciting thing uh, for her is just the possibilities are endless right now. I mean, she has a whole world and a whole life out in front of her, and she has the stepping stones now to do whatever she wants. We asked Grayson and her parents what their favorite memories of her playing soccer were. Recently, I was playing against Leavenworth, and I was running to get a ball that Jaden Yingling passed to me, and I couldn't get to it, and I kicked the turf and like totally ate it and landed on my chest. It was really embarrassing. It was kind of funny. She was about 12 months old and we lived in Texas at the time and we went to an Easter egg hunt and she decided she'd rather play with the soccer ball than go to the Easter egg hunt, which is unusual for a kiddo, you know, that age. So I think at that point we knew maybe she was at least going to play soccer. We didn't know she'd ever get to this level. So we're pretty proud of her. I love Northwest because it's like a very neat campus and the town's very cool. I'm excited. Good luck, Grayson. The tennis team won the meet Wednesday with everyone winning first place in their division. At home tonight, we have softball and baseball game against Junction and a soccer game against St. James. Tennis and track are on the road. Make sure to wish everyone good luck. That's it for sports. Let's head on over to Josh to see what the weather will do. Happy Friday to you. Here's our forecast for tomorrow. Noon, mostly cloudy skies, 50 degrees, then 53 by 4 p.m., 8 p.m., 48 as prom begins, and by midnight, 45 degrees. I have removed the rain chance for tomorrow. We're going to take a look at why in just a second. But the big national weather story tomorrow is the significant severe weather outbreak that's possible across northern Louisiana and southern Arkansas. This is where significant tornadoes, strong and long track, will be likely. So just keep an eye on that for tomorrow. Here, though, we were talking about that rain chance. It's going to stay confined to southeastern Kansas. There's going to be a lot of dry air in the lower levels of the atmosphere, and that's going to limits any rain from moving this far north. And checking out the seven-day forecast, you can see that we do jump from 50s to 70s on Monday, and that warm weather continuing through the middle of next week. It does look like it gets more active, though, starting late Tuesday night. Now, back to your anchors. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great weekend.